having a proper multi-tool on a bike ride can be the difference between walking back to your house or car and continuing on with a great ride. So I'm going to show you my favorite one that I have ever used. I've had a lot of people over the years ask me for recommendations of a good multi-tool. So in this one, I'm going to show you the Crank Brothers M19. I've used a lot of different styles and sizes of multi-tools, and this one is my favorite. I use a more compact one for my cross-country rides and races just to save weight. However, one of the problems with a more compact wrench is the fact that the Allen keys sometimes don't extend far enough from the wrench. And I had a situation one time where my rear derailleur came loose and I could not insert the Allen key far enough inside the rear derailleur to access the bolt and I couldn't tighten the rear derailleur. So this one, the keys extend pretty far from the wrench so you should not have that issue. So this is the M19. They also make an M17 with a couple less tools. I'll show this one up close and talk about the differences. They also make the F-Series tools, which are more compact. They're not any cheaper, but they are a little bit lighter, especially the F10+. Plus. Uh, but again, it doesn't have as many tools. So for my trail and enduro rides, this is the one that I carry. So I'm going to show this up close. I'll show the tools that you get with it. So to access the M19, you just remove this little cap. Now I'll go ahead and mention, I love the fact that this comes inside of a case because I've actually had situations where the multi-tool punctured a tube inside of my hydration pack or hip pack. The fact that it's in this case means that you can just slide it in your pocket if you need to do that on a shorter ride or put it in your hydration pack without the worry of maybe an Allen wrench puncturing a tube or even puncturing the side of your hydration pack. So you just remove this cap and slide it out. This one does come with a chain tool and you just rotate it out and then it's got a handle here for these fingers. So you would just turn the wrench and having a chain tool is invaluable on big rides because if you ever break your chain, that really is a mechanical that you're going to be walking back if you don't have a chain tool. Another thing cool about the chain tool is it also doubles as an open-ended wrench. So you've got a number eight and a number 10 millimeter wrench. So that's really useful. It also doubles as a spoke wrench. So what you can do is just rotate this off and then you'll see the number two here. That's a number two spoke wrench, number three. And on this side, it's a zero and there's a one. So again, you've got a zero, one, two, and three spoke wrench built into the chain tool. So that's really cool. As far as hex wrenches or Allen wrenches, you've got a number two, 2.5, three, four, five, six, and eight. And of course the eight can be really important for tightening a crank bolt should that come loose. And like I mentioned earlier, these extend pretty far from the wrench. So you should not have an issue accessing a bolt. This one also comes with screwdrivers. So you've got a number one Phillips, you've got a flat blade and you've got a number two Phillips. And that's one of the differences between the M19 and the M17. The M17 does not have the smaller number one Phillips screwdriver, which, you know, most of the time you don't need it, but you may have a situation where you need to adjust a derailleur on a ride and you would most likely need the smaller one. So my recommendation is to get the M19. It's not worth the extra seven grams. So the M19 weighs 175 grams and the M17 weighs 168 grams. So I think it's worth the extra seven grams to have the smaller Phillips head screwdriver. This one does come with Torx wrenches. So you've got a T10 Torx wrench, you've got a T25. The M17 only comes with the T25 which is the one that you're going to need most of the time. So there are situations where maybe to tighten a shifter or brake lever, uh, it may require the smaller T10 Torx wrench. So again, I think it's worth it to have the M19, which has those two extra tools. One more thing that I'll mention about this wrench is it does have some texture on the sides, which should be easy to grip if you have sweaty hands or if you have gloves on. And then when you're finished using it, just drop it back into the case. So that is a quick video to show you the Crank Brothers N19 multi-tool definitely gets my recommendation. It is the best complete multi-tool that I have ever used. It's not cheap. It's about 37, 38 bucks, but well worth the investment should you get a mechanical out in the middle of nowhere, which if you ride long enough, it will happen. If you found this video helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up for me. It does help out my channel. And if you have any questions or comments, drop those below. Thanks for watching.